Okay, so we continue with the modeling process of the of the dinosaur here that we started up, I believe, seven videos ago. So this is part eight. So let's continue where we left off. In this video, I'm going to show you for sure, as promised, how to create the, the teeth. So here's the model that we've been working with. and. Uh, so let's get to the head area here. So first what we're going to do is delete our history, go to delete by type history. It's a good thing to delete your history uh, as often as, as possible. So now we could, we could make an extrusion for the gum line here, but, uh, but I think we can get away with uh, once you're in the in the texturing process, maybe by using by just using color, you can create that that look of the gum line instead of actually making an extrusion. Although you could just make an extrusion for the gum line, but in this case, I'm just going to I'm just going to leave it this way. So let's look at some of the pictures here. So we probably want to so we probably want to get the tongue area before we get to, to our teeth. Okay, so I'm going to... Let me insert an edge loop. If you go to edit mesh, insert edge loop. So let's do some really minor uh, adjustments here before we get our ahead of ourselves. So let's select, now it might be difficult to see, so go to Edit Mesh, Extrude. Before we do anything else, go to Disable Reflection. I'm going to move those up. And it might be difficult to see, but select the inner faces. Make sure you select those faces and Enable Reflection and delete. So now it's probably a good time to start to shape it. Now this is uh, really difficult to get in there and shape it, but uh, it has to be done. So probably this wouldn't be a very good animatable tongue here. So if you wanted to animate it really well, you probably would pref it would be preferable to maybe create a a different object for it instead of extruding off the mouth. It would be a better idea to make it as a separate object if you were to animate this. But in this case, I'm just gonna. I just need an extrusion because I know for sure I'm not going to animate this and uh, I'm just modeling. Now it's, because it's so difficult to see the inside we're going to let me get back to marquee select and select some of the faces here. I'm going to isolate select if you click here that way we only see this area. We only see the faces that we selected. Let me go back to drag select. And I can see that I have some overlapping faces. So I can move those down. And of course, we continue to shape. making sure that we don't have any overlapping geometry here. Of course, it's really, really difficult to see, especially since I extruded out off of the mouth.
let's continue to shape and no worries we're going to get to the teeth here in a minute so let's go let's go ahead and uh, we're going to create the teeth now let me save the scene then go to create polygon primitives and I'm going to use a cube believe it or not it's going to work fine with this this process here now scale that down Let me look at the pictures to make sure I get the shape that I want. I'm going to press 3 and scale that. Maybe select that top face and scale that in. I don't think that, that works. That looks fine to me. Let's go to Mesh, Smooth, press 1. Now I'm going to press G to smooth one more time. I think that works, uh, it, it looks fine to me, and let me scale that slightly. Now before I make a duplicate of this object, what I want to do is I want to create the UVs for it so that all the duplicates that I make from this object are going to share the same UV space. That way I don't have to be going back and uh, creating the UVs for all of them. And next we're going to make duplicates of this one and it's going to share the same UV space. Let me isolate select first. Now go to create, make sure it's set to bounding box, and I'm going to select, uh, whoops, let me go back here, and select some of the edges, I'm going to select that all the way here, make sure you have those edges selected. So let's go to Window, UV Texture Editor. Now click here. And go to Polygons, Cut UV Edges. Now go back to Polygons, Unfold. And I think the, the options are fine. Now go back to Polygons, Layout. Okay. Now click here, click here, and we're going to get this. Now click and drag where it says unfold. Okay. So I think that looks good for our UVs there. So we'll go back to our object and uh, now it's time to start to place the teeth in place and uh, we're going to make duplicates. So go, let's go delete history for it first. So now let's start to place and rotate. I think they're really small. So do control D again, control D to make a duplicate. and place that. So I'm going to just continue and make duplicates by Control D and uh, placing all these where I think the, that they're going to look fine according to the picture. So I'm going to continue to do this and uh, I'm going to stop the recording and I'm going to come back once I'm done. 
Okay, so what I did, uh, so I made a bunch of duplicates and I placed them exactly where I wanted them. Okay, so first what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine all the teeth so that they're one object. So select the whole thing, shift, and click the dinosaur to deselect it, shift, and click here to deselect. So now make sure you only have all the teeth selected. Go to Mesh, Combine. So now you can see the one object. If you click uh, here, you see the one object. And now if you go to Window, UV Texture Editor, you can see that they're all sharing the same UV that we created first. So they're going to be using the same texture. So let's go ahead and create the eye. We go to create polygon primitives, a sphere. Let's move that into place and scale that accordingly. Let me rotate it and actually rotate 90 degrees here. And move that into place. So I'm going to go to select this sphere and going to isolate select and I'm going to I know for sure that I'm going I'm not going to see this area so I'm going to select those faces and grow the selection and I'm going to delete that's mainly because I know that for sure that's not going to be visible So I think that at this point, uh, we're actually close to the final results that, that we're looking for. So let me go to Mesh and Smooth so that we have more divisions available here to us so that we can continue to shape. I mean, the more geometry you have, the more you can shape. So now we have more geometry to work with and so we can really come in and continue to shape the model as, as we like. So that allows for more some more shaping, more geometry available to us. So at this point I think that we are we're done actually with the modeling process so the next thing that we have to do is we have to make sure that we mirror the geometry next time and the next time we're going to UV unwrapped if you want to learn how to do that for this dinosaur and we're going to mirror to make sure that we have one object instead of two pieces so next time I'm going to show you how to UV unwrapped and it's actually going to be a wrap up of the, the whole tutorial series in terms of the modeling process.